Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I am Tracy, uh, Mitten State Flips. If you are interested in anything from this video, you can email me at kenzie3775 at awell.com. It'll be in the description also. Um, we're still working on the box, the Goodwill boxes from uh, Texas, but I just went on last night and won some new boxes. So those will be coming soon. <laughs> So I'm looking forward to that. So when you send me an email, um, make sure to put the title of this video so I know which one you're ordering from. Uh, and then put timestamp and a brief description so I know what to look for. All right, so we have this. It looks like dyed howlite. Or it could just be fake, right? <laughs> um, so... Yeah, it kind of twist around. The chain is super clean. Uh, this has a drop of eight and a half inches with a three inch extender. And we will do two dollars on this one. All right, we have silver tone necklace. With the heart, rhinestones. The key itself is one and a half inches. It's got a drop of nine and a half inches, and we will do two dollars on this one. All right, so, oh, this is the three piece set. And the only reason it was all, it was all together, I think this was clipped onto this chain and then these earrings were like put through here that in the it was a good way to keep it all together <laughs> so we have this necklace this is the bracelet and then we have the earrings I don't think there's a mark on this. And I think there, I mean, it looks like there's somewhere on this. I don't know. Yeah. All right, so let's see. The bracelet itself. Hmm. How are we going to measure this? I'm going to give you a length. <laughs> All right, so it is seven inches with a one inch extender. All right, the necklace is, give you a drop, has a drop of seven inches with a three inch extender. And the earrings are a one inch drop. So on this three-piece set, we will do $4. All right. Let's hopefully that doesn't get all tangled. All right, let's do a couple earrings here. Get these out of the way. Actually, we'll just do all the earrings. I think that's all of them. Yep. Okay, so we have these. What's this? R-I-A-H fashion. They're just acrylic beaded turquoise earrings and they have a drop of about one and three-fourths inch and we will do a dollar on these. All right, we have these faux pearl. It's a nice. They look super clean. All right, so these have a drop of one and a half inches, and we will do two dollars on these. Love this. Look at these. These look brand new. They are Smokey the Bear earrings. Maybe vintage or something. Maybe. They look like it. 
Okay, so I'm just going to give you an estimate. They have a drop of about one and a fourth inch. And we will do $3 on those. All right, so these are dirty. And I don't know if you can get those clean. I mean, I guess you can soak them. Um, let's try to give you an idea of what they look like. So these have a drop of three and a half inches and we will do a dollar on these ones. Okay, we have, these ones are pretty. They got amber and black. Probably just rhinestones. No marks. Um, these have a drop of two inches. Yeah. And we will do two dollars on these. Alright, so we have these tassel looking earrings. They're not tassels, so. Well, they're not fabric tassels. They have the coral color acrylic bead on them. They have a drop of three inches. And we will do two, we will do two dollars on those. Okay, last pair of earrings. They're cute. They're little grapes. <laughs> Those are cute. All right, so these have a drop of one inch, and we will do a dollar on these ones. Okay, there are. Let me make sure that's all of them. Yeah, so there are five of these American flag. I think some are bigger than the others. Okay, so these three are the same. Okay, that one's missing stones. A couple blue ones. That one's missing a blue one. There. And that one has all of them. All right, we have a small one, and that one looks like it's missing a blue one, too. I don't know, maybe all of these are missing some. Yeah, because that one's missing one, too. This one's bigger. Well, I guess you can scrap one and fix the others. <laughs> all right, so for all five of these, we're going to do a dollar for the whole thing. All right, so we have, I'm gonna do the rings and the brooches next. There's quite a few. I know, it's my favorite one, look, Popeye. <laughs> oh, this one's a charm, that's cute. All right, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so we have this cupcake charm It is, let's see, the cupcake itself is about hmm, almost three-fourths of an inch. We will do a dollar on this. Uh, we have this mother, vintage, looks like Avon, and it's marked here. Uh, where did I put my thing? Hold on. All right, let's see. Yeah, it's marked Avon. It's marked Avon right up there. All right, so on this one, it is about, let's see, one and a half inches. From here to here. I guess I can give you the bow. Let's see. It's about two and a fourth inch from here to here. And we will do, I don't know, two dollars on this. All right. 
we have this fancy shoe with the butterfly on it. Right. No markings. Okay. It is about one and a half inches by one and a fourth inch, and we will do two dollars on this one. Yeah, I got sweatshirt on. It's so cold out. <laughs> um, this one's marked too. Uh, this one is marked M A M S E L L E Mamso. It's marked right there. It's nice, like it's built well. All right, so this one is about one and three fourths inch going across, and we will do three dollars on this one. All right, let's get the rest out. This one's really cool. All right. Okay, we have, this one's different. Mm. I don't see any markings on this one. So we have a faux pearl. It's very light. The metal is. Uh, it looks like it has some vertigray right there. So this one is, let's see, it's got a drop of about two and a half inches. From here to here and we will do two dollars on this one all right so we have this resin pen Easter it is two inches and we will do two dollars on this <clears throat> love Popeye um, oh, there is a marking. I don't know what it says, though. It says KFS Hearst, made in China. That's the only marking. All right, so this one is about an inch, and we'll do $3 on Popeye. Okay. Well, this I don't know it almost looks like someone used a marker and colored in some of these isn't it kind of looks like that hmm. I don't know it's not marked it is about one and a fourth yeah one and a fourth inch, and we will do three dollars on him. Okay, we have this swirl enamel rhinestone pink bow. No markings. That's pretty. This one is about two inches, and we will do three dollars on this. All right, so we have. The last pin is, I don't think this is marked, but no, I don't see any markings. So it's got like um, an amber color stone in there. Yeah, let's see, it is about two and a fourth inch and we will do two dollars on this all right there are three rings here let me get my sizer that's right there okay so we have this copper color ring um so it's got like a twirl on it Let's see if it's marked. 
No, it's just a copper color. Um, let's see, it is a size six. Yeah. Okay, so on this one we will do two dollars. All right, we have this one. It looks like it's purple, maybe. Why can't I see? Ooh, just blinding myself looking at the light. Is that? Oh, is that red or purple? Can't tell. <laughs> All right, so this is a size seven, and we will do two dollars on this one. I think it's like a purple. I don't know. Okay. All right, so we have this clear rhinestone ring. Let's see, it is a size six. Um, no markings. I don't think that other one had markings either, but I'll check really quick. No. Alright, so on this we will do two dollars. Okay. I don't know why there's a couple sharks tooth. necklaces <laughs> all right so but this one's broke so the chain is broke so you just need to put it on a different chain but I don't know it looks like it'd be difficult to put a chain on this because it's threaded through so it'd have to be a really thin chain so on this one we will do a dollar and then this shark's tooth, which is much bigger, and it's uh, it has like wooden beads. All right, so this has a drop of nine inches with a two inch extender, and we will do um, three dollars on this. Here's a couple. Oh, this one is broke. This is Mother of Pearl. But I figured maybe somebody would want to harvest it or like the oops. The hook here obviously is not going to hook unless you hook it to the But this says it's marked on this. It is marked Japan, but it's really nice. It's got these nice pieces of Mother of Pearl, and then even this piece that goes across is Mother of Pearl, so it's really different. So, yeah, it's really pretty. Okay, so. That one will need to be fixed, or you can harvest the shells and make something else. So on this, we will do $2. Okay. Do these beads and get them out. It, no one ever <laughs> buys these, so. All right, we're just going to do it quickly. So we have these faux pearl, like, grayish. Uh, vintage clasp has a drop of 11 and a half inches. We'll do a dollar on that. This one is really dirty. I'm just throwing that out. No, I'll toss it in there if you want this. It's just it's got dirty beads and it, they're acrylic. All right. Oh, this one's really old. This one is hand knotted. Are they real pearls? Oh, it's really smooth. So it must be faux pearl. Look at the closure. That one's really neat. So. All 
That was actually really cool. So on this one, it is really long. It's got a drop of 26 and a half inches and we will do $4 on that. All right, we have this one. Oh look, there's a T. Mm, I don't, does this pool over? Or does this, oh, all right, that's cool. That's the clasp. How cool is that? Let me see if it's marked. Um, I said I was going to go really quick on these and then I didn't. I, I don't see a mark on it, but that is really neat. And I, can, I have come across one like this before. Um, really neat though. And I don't know what the T stands for. Does anyone know? You know, put in the comments. And I don't know if this is, this, well, it's obviously faux pro. There are, there's somewhere, maybe somebody tried to <laughs> rub them together. All right, so this has a drop of 12 inches, and we will do $3 on that. All right. Oh, let me do these two. So I'll bring all of the bracelets over. All right, so we have these bangles. Bagged them all up. All right. So there are one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven bangles. And we will do a dollar. For all of them. Alright, now we have this bag of like stretch bracelets and maybe other ones, and it looks like I'm gonna throw this in there too. <laughs> maybe I'll throw this one in too. <laughs> okay, so we have this one which is adjustable. This one is also adjustable and has like metal pieces in there, which is nice. Uh, this one's adjustable too. This one has like a toggle. I'm trying to see what it says. Um, honor. It says honor and something is on there. It says Wakami. I don't know what that is. Alright, so a toggle one. So we have four. We have this pink stretch. It's five. Alright, this one is overly stretched. Uh, red acrylic beads. Do five at a time. Uh, this one has a closure. Alright, we have this gold tone kind of stretch. Well, it is stretch. Got the rhinestone keyhole. And these acrylic beads. This is really tight. Alright, this one is cute. This is R E L T H, Ralph with the cross. Alright, so that's another five. Alright, so there's five more. So there's 15, so 18 all to, 18 of them all together. Alright, so we have this stretched out bracelet. Um, this one's a stretch. It's got skulls. And this 
Faux Pearl, this shell, get this gold tone, tassel. All right, so that's 15. All right, we have this religious, I think, stretch bracelet. This one's adjustable and has a rhinestone hand. I don't know what that is. And then we have this stretch rhinestone bracelet. All right, so all of these together, there's 18 of them. I mean, I guess it'd be good for harvesting some of these. Anyways, for, let's see, all of this. We will do two dollars. Okay, I'm I have quite a few boxes like stacked up on my one wall. <laughs> Would anyone be interested if I did like I don't know, like bags of this and just like fill an entire bag up for like five bucks? Let me know in the comments because I'll just start doing that and then, yeah. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, I will get a bunch started and just so I can get rid of it. <laughs> this one's really cute. This one is unicorn. Look at all the rhinestones. It's so cute. So if you have any kids or grandkids, that's adorable. This has a drop, and it's really clean too. This has a drop of nine and a half inches. Um, the unicorn is about one and a half by one. And we will do three dollars on that. Alright, this is oh, that's funny. Is that another one of these? It is. That's so funny. Okay, now that's the third one I've come across. <laughs> it's really nice. These are glass. So you got amber beads. And they graduate down. That one's really cool. Kind of. And it's just a thread. Maybe it looks, it looks like it was repaired right there at the top. So this has a drop of eight and a half inches and we will do three dollars on that. Oh, I, was, I said I was going to do all the bracelets and then I didn't end up doing them. All right, so we have six bracelets here. This one, I just marked, electroplated, 24K electroplated. Hmm. Does that even mean anything? <laughs> um, and then there's an L on the other side. So that's where it says 24 karat electroplated, and it's just... A silver tone bracelet it is two and three fourths inches going across here and we will do two dollars on this we have this ivory enamel bracelet it's really I don't know if it's meant to be like sloppy but that's really sloppy, isn't it? Um, I don't see any markings. It is two and a half inches, and we will do two dollars on that. Okay. Oh, there's that hand again with the eyeball. That must stand for something. I just don't know what. Does this open up? It looks like it would open up. Hmm. Or slide. I don't know. 
Okay, so this is approximately seven inches long and it has a one and a half inch extender and we will do a dollar on that. We have this. This metal is bent. It is marked. Oh, Hawaii. It'd be a nice place to be right now. Um, temperature wise. <laughs> All right, so it's two and a half inches diameter, but it, it really needs to be. I don't know if you can see, it's not very circular. Um, so on this one, we will do a dollar. All right, and this one has wear, but I put it in here because it's different. I didn't know if somebody wanted to try and do something with it. But, so it has this dangle, let's see, it looks like there's some vertebrae on there. All right, so I'm just gonna go across. So you have this charm, this green one. One is missing. You have this blue one, it's got vertigray on it. One is missing, I'm assuming. And then this one's missing a stone. And I don't know what all these extra little pieces are. Oh, that's probably the end piece. Yeah. And then I don't know, what is that, a wand or something? <laughs> so then it has this kind of closure. I don't see any markings. It is seven inches long and we will do a dollar on this one. Oh look, yeah it's got a lot of wear on that side. I only showed you that side but so a dollar on that piece. All right I think I set this aside because I was going to test it. I don't think it is. I don't know where my magnet is either. Mm, maybe we'll do it. Okay, got everything out. So, it's not. And it disappeared. So, Okay, so on this bracelet, let's put it aside. Let's take that off. It's got really nice stamps on it. So you got a cuff bracelet. Um, it is about two and a half inches diameter, and of course, it can be bent to however you want it. And we will do three dollars on that. Okay, so I did went and grabbed a couple bags from old videos. <laughs> so I did. I, I grabbed a couple. Um, so one's from July thirteenth, and one's from July nineteenth. And I'm not going to go into detail about them. If you want more info, you could probably just go to those videos and you know get dimensions and everything um, so i'm going to just fill bags i guess <laughs> so we are working I, don't, I think i can make like a couple bags out of this, this is from july 13th all right so we have a bracelet um, earrings, bangle, there's actually a couple that match, um, we have that eye, that's resin or something, I don't know, <laughs> alright, we have, this is cool, this is that druzy, faux druzy looking 
necklace. It's really pretty. Okay, going in there. Well, this is cool. I can get rid of a lot of stuff this way. All right, we have this watch. This, like, metal stretch ring. It's kind of neat. All right, we have this multi-chain bracelet. It's magnetic. All right, we have this butterfly. It's nothing. It broke off of something, I think. All right. Yeah, we'll just... This fabric bracelet and then this anklet, I think. get as much in there as I can. <laughs> Alright. That's gross. We're just throwing that away. Alright, we have this vintage necklace. This one's really nice on this gold tone chain. I think it's like a, yeah, it's one of those lariat type things. It's kind of knotted. <laughs> What happens when you toss everything in a bag? All right, I'm not gonna mess with it. But anyways, get the idea. That's going in there. Um, then we have this necklace. Let me see how much will fit in another bag. <laughs> uh, oh, we got tassel earrings. That one will fit in a bag. All right, so I'm going to finish that up. So we have this bag, and I'm not going to price this that much. I'm only going to put $3 on that one. So. Oi. <laughs> Am I going to be able to close it? <laughs> I will. It's just snails. All right. So $3 on this one. All right. So, oh, and there is a real jersey. So that's cool. That one will go into the new bag. Alright. This one is not going to fit in a bag, I don't think. No, I won't be able to close it. I don't want to just get rid of Okay, so we have. This little pearl. Hmm. I don't know what we got going on here. Probably a bunch of necklaces. Uh, <laughs> yes. So we have this long necklace. Let me get this big one out. We have this acrylic bead necklace. We have uh, these earrings. This a bead, <laughs> a button. <laughs> we just have random stuff. Peace sign. Stuff that I probably didn't even say on camera. I just tossed it in there. <laughs> uh, this flag pin. Um, oh, that's magnetic or something. I don't know what that is. All right, so we have this necklace. I don't know. Oh, it's a cross ring. Is, is it missing? It might be. I don't know if it's discolored or missing. It's missing piece of rhinestones in there. All right. We have this bracelet. Oh, there's a God is Love pin. We have this Mother of Pearl and the dyed. Oh, I love the brown ones. And a corded necklace. We have... This one is Mark Loft 
outlet. It is that one's really nice. It's a long necklace. Pretty colors. Alright, that's going in there. And then this bracelet. This broken chain. Yeah. And there's a lot of nice pieces in this one. Um, and then this Druzy necklace. I think this is the episode I asked what this was because <laughs> and everyone told me. <laughs> everyone knew about me. Okay. So that's getting tossed in there. So all of that, which is a good good deal. We will do five dollars on this one. Good deal. Alright. If that doesn't work, I'll just make the bags bigger. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so now we are on to 719 video. And it looks like I can get two bags out of this too. So let's just kind of split it into two piles. I love this. I think I want to wear this. I'm going to wear that just because it looks cool. <laughs> Alright, so I think... Let me see. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. I think that will fill two bags. This might be too big. I don't know. But these are a bunch of seed beads. Ooh. Necklace. All right. So we we'll probably use it to make other stuff or wear it. So got that. All right, we have this necklace. Right. We have this owl necklace, which is really cool. And this copper color necklace. It's marked Chico's, which is a good brand. All right, All right. we have this bracelet toggle this bracelet All right. this I don't even know <laughs> oh the whole set's in that pile so alright this is is this sterling I think this one's sterling no, it's lean. Yeah, it's not sterling. So it just has to be detangled, though. Goodness. <laughs> All right, we have this, which is really cool. It's like brutalist style. All right, and then let me make sure there's pieces of this. Okay, yeah, it was just these two pieces. And that will go in there. So we got Chico's and Owl. There's some cool stuff in there. So for this one, we will do five dollars. Okay. Now on to the last one. All right. So we have this tassel. Ah necklace this bracelet oh shoot okay this piece is going into the other bag because it matched that other set i didn't look in that very good okay so we have this necklace <laughs> this necklace all right, this one I love. I love the colors on this. But I'm not going to keep it. 
<laughs> All right, so you have this necklace. You have this natural stone. Um, yeah, this is a pretty chip, chip stone. It's a necklace, and then you have this natural stone bracelet. And then last, no, not last, we have this necklace and then this set which is it's kind of stuck okay i got it <laughs> all right so we have this necklace bracelet and earrings for that. And that is going on there. That's a nice little grouping. Okay. So on this bag we will do five dollars. A lot of good stuff in there. Alright, hopefully those will settle. <laughs> Alright, back to Alright, you guys need to let me know if you guys like the long videos because I'll keep going if you want me to. <laughs> So we have these, I don't know if these are necklaces or not necklaces, but they were in the jewelry, so it does come off at the one edge. Maybe. Maybe not. I did get one. Let's see. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Mm. Yep. So I don't know what this is. Um, for all I know it could be automotive right <laughs> but they're different colors or maybe they're jokers I don't know but they're different colors anyways on these I'm just going to do a dollar for all five of them yeah all five of them okay next we have this acrylic beaded necklace. It's got stars on it. It's got a drop of seven and a half inches and we will do a dollar on that. All right. We have this ice cream cone and it comes apart like that. All right. This has a drop of eight and a half inches and we will do a dollar on that. Okay, we have this ballerina on a silver tone chain. It does look like there's some wear. It's got a drop of eight inches, and we will do two dollars on that. All right. So we have this gunmetal necklace long necklace it is a 20 inch drop and we will do two dollars on that okay this one looks like avon but i am blind oh yeah i think it does say that yeah avon <laughs> got a long chain and it's all the pocket. So I can put pictures in there. That's what it looks like. The locket size is about three fourths of an inch. It has a drop of 13 inches with a three inch extender. And we will do $3 on that. We have this red feather necklace, acrylic beads on like, I don't know, it's like a soft cord. Oh, these probably go down. No markings. It's got a drop of... 12 inches 
and we will do two dollars on that. All right. We have a few. There's three, four, five, six. We have six more things. <laughs> All right. So we have this gold tone necklace with these move. So you can put these balls anywhere you want. They're kind of just spread out, but you could also put them all together. So this has a drop of eight and a half inches and we will do two dollars on that. Right, we have these don't look like they match. Oh, look, there's an earring back. That's going in the bag. Yeah, they don't look like they match. Like this one's really shiny and this one's, yeah. This one is marked Sarah, Co oh, sorry. Sarah Coventry. So the chain, at least, is Sarah or Coventry. Um, but I don't know what that is. And this has a drop of 10 and a half inches. And we will do $2 on this. Okay. All right. So we have this heart choker. Oi. It's got a drop of five and a half inches with a three and a half inch extender, and we will do two dollars on that. All right, we have this. All right, the battery's done on this, dead on this. So it opens up like that, but you can still kind of see what time it is. Um, it needs a new battery. Um, and if I can, if I have the right battery, I will change it for whoever, if somebody wants this. Let's see, it is 15 inches for the drop. And let's see, I'll show you the dimensions for this. Um, total is about two and a half inches, but it looks like it's about two inches for this part. And we will do $3.00. On this. Okay. We have this very long, very long. Let me give you a drop really quick. This one seems really long. Okay, so this has a drop of 32 inches. It's crazy. So obviously you're going to double it up and it's still going to be long. So you can triple it up if you wanted to. Those are neat. Okay, so here is the clasp, which is really nice. Um, no markings. This is really nice. All right, so anyways, on this one, we will do $4. And last, this piece tangled a bit. Um, okay, here we go, it's on a long chain. All right, so we have these dyed Howlite pieces, which I really like that purple. It's really nice. This is marked C for Charm and Charlie. I really like that. All right, so this has a drop of 15 inches, and we will do $3 on this one. Okay, so if you made it this far, 54 minutes in, <laughs> uh, thank you for watching, and if you could hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed, and like the video, that'd be great, um, and we will see you on the next one.